On this channel, we solve Sudoku puzzles without writing candidates. We use techniques and patterns that work well with this strategy. Go to sudokuprimer.com to see these techniques and patterns. See lots of other interesting and informative Sudoku information out there too. I got this puzzle from Timberlake. He solved it on his Smart Hobbies YouTube channel. There's a link to his video in the description below, or you can go to his channel and look for the video that was uh, published uh, July 17th. Before we start, you can print this puzzle to follow along. Click on the link in the description below or go to sudokuprimer.com and look for the menu item Print YouTube Puzzles Before You Watch. This puzzle is quite unique at the start. It's got these all these groups of numbers bunched together. And there are four corner patterns in this puzzle. I'm going to talk about corner patterns and wall patterns here. Um, and double walls also. Wall patterns and double wall patterns. I'll use these patterns to help solve this puzzle. First of all, let's look at um, the, uh, the corner pattern and how we can use it. Whenever you have a corner pattern, you've got a row and a column that's uh, that is empty. Now you could have one or two numbers in here, and that'd be okay. You'd still have a corner pattern. As long as you have all four of these cells bunched together in the corner, then they're populated like this. As long as you have these four populated in the corner, you're good. All right, let's look at this corner pattern and look at this column here to see if we can find numbers that would fit in this row. We've got a one and a four. There's already a one in here, but no four. So we know there's a four right here. One of these is a four. Okay, now sometimes you can find two numbers in this column. Uh, that would fit in this row that aren't in here already, and then you'd have twins. Right. In this case right here, let's look at this corner pattern. We got a three and a four. We've already got a three here. We don't have a four, so the four fits in one of these two places. And in this case, we got a four there, so we can put that four in. But you can do that with cross hatching in that case. But without that four there, you can see that the four is constrained to col column six in this box. All right, let's look at this corner pattern right here. We've got a seven and a two in this row, and there are no seven, there's no seven or two in this box yet, so we've got two seven twins right there. We can't solve them right now, but we know they're two seven twins, and that makes a double wall, hidden double wall pattern, because we know these six numbers here. That means that 3, 5, and 9 need to go in here. And they're the only three numbers left in this box. And with that, one of these being a 5 constrained to this row, we see there's a 5 there, ghost 5 there, 5 there, 5 there, so we know that's a 5 right there. So that's one way you can use a corner pattern. Now let's look at this corner pattern right here. We've got a three and a nine in this row. Three and neither three nor nine is in this box yet, so these are three nine twins. With that nine, we can solve them. So sometimes you'll find one number like this four. Sometimes you'll find two numbers that you can't solve like these two sevens. Sometimes you'll find two numbers and you can solve them like the three nine. All right, now, Let's see if what we can find out here in this column. We know that there are two seven twins right here, so we have four of the nine numbers. Let's see what's missing. One, three, four, five, eight. One, three, four, five, eight. Okay, missing in this column. These are two seven twins. Here's a three and a four, so these are one, five, eight 
triplets right there. So with these 158s, and we can't solve any of those, and these 7 twos, we know that these are 3 and 4 right there. With that 4, we can put a 3 there and a 4 there. So uh, that helped us out a little bit. And now we know these are 5 9 twins. 7 2 twins, 5 9 twins. All right, now um, let's look at this uh, corner pattern right here with this four. We have ghost fours right there. We have a four there. We've got a four there and a four there. So we know that's a four. All right, and now let's see. We've got a three here, three here, three here. Let's do a little cross hatching here. Put in a couple of numbers that we can see. Three, three, and three there. So that's a three. All right. And we've got a one here. With this double row here, we've got one, two, six triplets right there. So we've got a one here, ghost ones there. That makes that a one. And with this, these ones here and this one, that makes that a one. All right, and then we've got a two here. We have ghost twos here, our seven two twins right there. So the two is constrained to one of these two cells right here in box three. And with this T pattern that we now have here, and the one, two, six here, we've got a one and a six here already, but no two in this box. So the two is constrained to column eight in box nine here. So that can't be a two. So that makes that a two right there. Okay, now at this point, this puzzle gets very difficult. Um, can't see anything obvious with cross-hatching or, or um, other techniques. But uh, there's one thing with this corner pattern right here that we find that will help us find a set of twins in this box right here. We've got a 4 here, 4 here, 4 here. So one of these is a 4. We've got a six here, ghost six is here, and so one of these is a six. But this corner pattern right here shows us that these, the six is constrained right here because there's a six right there. So the only place a six can go in this, in this box is column three. So that can't be a six. So we've got six ghost sixes, six and four 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 so these are four six twins right there we can't solve the four six twins these are two and five we can't solve them but one thing we can do is that constrains the two to column three right here and there's a two there so ghost twos two there's two there and two there so that makes that a two right there And now we've got a six here, six here, six here. So that's a six right there. And one of these has to be a six, right? Six, six, six. And again, with our corner pattern here with that six, these are ghost sixes, so that can't be a six. So that is the six. All right, now with, with this six, we can solve these twins we found, right? Six and four. Four right there. All right, and uh, got a four here, four here, four here. So that's a four right there. Okay, and now there's only an eight and nine missing in column one here. And um, that leaves five and seven here. Now we have, with this five right here, we have ghost fives here. So that has to be the seven. And that's the five. Okay, and then um, with this information, we can solve these. 
Now we have a ghost eights here, so that has to be a one or a five. Here's a one and a five there, so that's an eight. And of course, I'm talking about the one five eight triplets we found earlier there. Eight. Now we're missing one and five. With that five there, that's a one and that's a five. All right, and with this eight, we can fill in our eight and nine that we had in box one right there. And uh, with that nine, we, there's only seven and nine missing here. So we can fill those in. And uh, <clears throat> with this nine right here, we can fill in our five nine twins that we found earlier. And let's just throw a seven right there. Easy number. All right, now we've got uh, five, five, so that's a five. Of course, the only number left in that column. With that five, 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 five right there. And that leaves that a two to finish row nine. We've got a two here, uh, ghost twos there, two there, so that's a two right there. All right, now we're missing seven and eight here, and seven and eight there. With that seven, that's an eight, and that's a seven, seven, eight there. All right, and then uh, row six is just missing one, six and eight. There's one and eight, so six. These are one and eight, there's an eight. So one, eight. Now we're missing one, one, eight, and nine there. Eight, eight. So that's an eight. There's a one there. So that's a one. That's a nine. And remember our one, two, six is there. One, two, one, one, one. Six there. So that's a two. That's a six. All right, now we're missing a nine here. Nine there, nine there. Only only number left in that column, nine, nine, nine right there. All right, now here we're missing two and three. And we're also missing six and seven there. With that six, we can solve those right there. And uh, let's see, we got a two seven there, two three. With that seven, we can solve the two and the seven there, and the three and the two there. And then we've got uh, three and eight here. And that's it. So the corner and wall patterns helped us to get this puzzle solved. I couldn't, I didn't use the corner pattern a ton, but I did, I used it a fair amount. And the wall and double wall patterns I used a few times also. So good illustrations of those patterns. And uh, <clears throat> that helped us solve this puddle, puzzle pretty easily. Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.